It's gonna start a five second delay and then it's gonna send the first ASCII command, PRN. Welcome back to TTO Parts. Today we've got an exciting topic for you. We're gonna be diving into ASCII text-based communications on a VideoJet Dataflex 6530. And we got a ton of information and even a practical application set up here for you. So be sure to stick around to the end to catch it all. Let's get after it. First, let's understand what ASCII is and why we use it. ASCII stands for the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Now, it's a character encoding standard used for representing text. Each character in the ASCII standard is represented by a number. For example, the letter A is represented by 65. Before we get into this setup, we did some testing with a terminal emulator PuTTY. What we wanted to do is just make sure that the text codes that we had were able to be sent and received by this unit. Before you can even do that, you gotta get into this unit and start talking with this board. And what you need to do with this board is tell it to look for text-based communication. So that's gonna require you to look at the Mastering Clarity Config video, show you how to do that. And once you're inside of there, you're gonna change your COM port to text communications. This is what PuTTY looks like. Now we're gonna type in our IP address and then change the port that we set inside Clarity Config. We also wanna make sure we're hitting other, and then we're gonna go ahead and open this. But before we get into that, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now we are connected. We're gonna go ahead and send a GST command to get the state of the printer. The GST command will give us a few values in return. First, the mode state. Second, the air state. Third, the current job. Fourth, batch count, and then finally the total count. We have a four for offline, a zero for no errors. The current job is called 1000 series. The batch count is at zero, and the total count of prints on this unit is 144,778. Next, we're gonna send the SEL command over. Now this is to select a job from the internal memory of the unit. You type in SEL, and then the job name, and then in this job, we actually have a variable text that changes the QR code. So we're gonna say QR equals TTO parts because the variable text was defined as QR in Clarisoft. Here's a real-time update of the message from PuTTY and look at that preview. Let's break this down step-by-step. Step. First, we got our Opta. We're gonna program it to take an input from the button and then output the print trigger, as well as the Arduino Mega trigger. Secondly, we're gonna program this Arduino Mega board. But before we do that, we actually need to set up and connect to the server. We're gonna do all the IP settings. We're gonna to connect to the port that we had set up in Clarity Config here, and make sure that handshake between the server is always on, so they're always connected. Now once that's done, then we can start writing our program. And in the program, we're basically gonna say, when input two is hot, and the last time it was not, go ahead and turn the output three, blue LED, on. And then it's gonna start a five second delay, and then it's gonna send the first ASCII command, PRN, print. Then it's gonna start another delay, another five seconds, and then another send ASCII, PRN, command. And after that, we're gonna tell it to stop and wait until it sees another high input on input two. Anyone else messing around with this stuff? Let me know in the comments below. We're gonna go into run mode right now, add some film. And then we're gonna test this thing out. Now, if I did it right, I'm gonna press the button on the Opta. We should see a blue LED light up. We should get our first print trigger at this point. Then we have a five second delay, another trigger, and then another trigger. So right now we're on uh, 144, 818 counts. So we should add three to that after this. So let's see what happens. We did it. And there you have it. We successfully tested the ASCII text communication protocol on a VideoJet 6530 unit. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below.